Hey, what is up? Welcome back Design Squad and in this Design Tool Tuesday video, I'm going to share with you two tools. It's not necessarily a design tool. It could be a marketing tool. It could be used by developers and I've seen quite a few developers using it as well as anyone else who just wants to portray their design or their photo or their mockup or just general graphic assets in the best of lights. And specifically, I'm talking about uh, a tool called Screely and a tool called Screenzy. And what we allow you to do is to embed your mockups in this, you know, customizable type of secondary mockup, like a wrapper, which then looks much more presentable. And then you can use it, let's say, in your emails or in your banners for your blog posts, or even to just pitch a deck, let's say, a keynote or PowerPoint to your clients so that it looks very presentable. And as you can see, I have a couple of mockups. So right off the bat, I'm just going to export a few of different different bits and as well as I'm going to take a few screenshots so just to showcase exactly what it's about. So I exported a few, let's jump right into it. And as you can see, the first one is going to be Screely. They're very similar, but it's up to you exactly to find out which one you like most. And so if I'm going to browse for a file, let me just select a random one. Just, you know, let's test it out. So I'm going to select a random screenshot I did, which has around it some background, like this one, for example. I can update then the outlook of it. So maybe it's a plain window. Perhaps it's a dark mode. I can then toggle as well a shadow if I want to, let's say here, I, I don't think I need the shadow, but I might want to keep it. And then I can also update, you know, the background to it. So I could just select something which is the predefined basic colors, maybe a bit lighter like so. So it matches a little bit our mockup. And then I can also resize the canvas too. If I download, let's say, I guess it's going to, it's then going to give me a PNG file with that specific mockup, which I then can use as I need to, let's say, embedding somewhere just to represent. That's pretty nifty, right? That's one of them. Let me just showcase another one. So let's say if I would embed something like a dark mode object like so. So for example, maybe I would want to then keep the toolbar also in a dark mode. I can also wash out the colors so it's a bit more, you know, neutral. So maybe that's what you're after. And then of course, I could just go ahead and just play with the background again to match what exactly what I'm after. And I'm just going to go probably for a white. So just to add more contracts or maybe this a type of very light gray and just download a mockup again. Now the next tool for the same exact purpose is Screenzy. And I like it a little bit more because it has a few more options to actually specify what you're after customization based app. And let's say I can just embed random image immediately. And that's just going to add a photo to it. Then I can just immediately download, let's say as PNG. And if I preview it, you're going to see exactly the same canvas as in the tool itself. So I can just export that and embed it. As you can see from the export, you can also just delete that text or add something else. So for example, I could add hello world or something like that. There are so many different options. For example, you can add browser border, you can, you know, embed the photo itself. So it's a bit more than just a browser, a little bit more than let's say the other tool you can update, of course, the font itself to match your branding, let's say, and it's basic fonts from Google fonts. And then you can also go ahead and just play with these subtle gradients. You can play with the angles as well. You can also play with the alpha levels, the brightness of it you can extend the canvas. So let's say this is my image and let me just delete my text like so. And that's, for example, what I want to embed somewhere in, in my website or something like that. And I would just download our JPEG and boom, I have this canvas with pretty nicely looking, you know, embedded picture. Additionally, you can also save the preset. So for example, this is my preset number one. And if I go to second one, I can then, you know, assign different bits. And as you can see, they are random at the moment. And let me just go back to this one and just update the picture itself. And a good example is, for example, this mockup, as you can see, I have a background, which is solid, I have a big mockup. And then I can literally, if I'm happy with this, maybe I would want to play with the shades of what's like, this looks pretty good. I would just download the JPEG. The outcome is pretty damn snazzy. If you ask me, then I can just embed this into my deck or, you know, send it to someone or even embed to, let's say, a portfolio so that it's illustrated well and it's presentable. You know, it looks pretty good. And lastly, just to try a more lighter example, as you can see, this could be also it. Maybe that's what you want to present a component or something along those lines. 
And of course you can embed a full mockup, full application mockup and get even better results. But again, it's up to you what you're after. Leave us a very quick take on them. I find the second one with Screensy, what you see a bit more of what I'm after because it has these nice gradients and you have quite a few other selectors to update. But if you want ease of use, you know, the other one, which is very straightforward where you can just upload, hit download and you have your mockup could be what you're after. And so give those tools a go. I'm going to leave the links down in the description. Let me know how you find it. As per usual, if you like this video, give a like, subscribe, share with your teammates who are into design. And on that note, I'll see you next time.